ordered some cutting compound, but Morgan's got some tea cut. I'm just going to try and see what this does. The heat gun. I don't know if it's fiberglass though or plastic. Well, better in it. <laughs> should we get the polisher on it? Yeah, probably. Or should we do it on a wet day? There's a bit of a wet day, isn't it? That's good, that, isn't it? Yeah. Just waiting for the air to build up. I suppose here for straw. <laughs> Rob's been busy on the computer. Liv's doing a very important job washing the bin out because it stinks. Let me see if the there we go, air brakes are okay now. Morgan's just loading a load of wheat straw out. Just move this tractor out of the way. Fuel's arrived. Sam's here picking up some straw. They'll back the combine out of the way. And then fuel driver can empty while we're still loading the straw. Come to have a look, see if the mustard is going to ripen before we want to drill wheat on this headland that we put in. Don't think it is. I think we'll just flail it off. This field, it was quite thin this year with OSR and it's got quite a lot of compaction from the rain. So, I don't know whether we sumo it or... Morgan wants to play with the plough, whether we plough it. It's got some ryegrass on that far headland, so the plough might be beneficial. So I don't know whether we, we plough it, work it, roll it, leave it for a fortnight, drill a wheat in it, leave it another five days, then glyphosate it, whether we pre-em it, and then it's given us like another stale seedbed. Or... Or we sumo it, work it, leave, roll it, leave it, I don't know. Plough's twice the, twice the width of the sumo. No, it's not twice the width of the sumo, it's a bit wider than the sumo. And uh, that Zarian would probably boss it, so... Maybe we do plough it. This headland, you see, he's got a bit of ryegrass. Mm, decisions, decisions. But then, getting the field a bit, You've obviously got all the root canals from the previous crop that you're going to disturb. I think Tom Pemberton wants a race against the Solace. Well, I think. Oh, maybe we'll go slower. There we go. I don't think he'll beat us because he's got gears. Now last time I used it so it snapped on that side so we might have to fix that. 
before he goes out. Remember, I was trying to weld it and there's no gas in the welder properly. Do this log out of the way. The beetles have been eating. Yeah, it was one of them ch chains, I think, was snapping. again falling on my head it's a new emotion then that song yeah we're just going to check this plow over anyway and see what we need to do to it like i say i'm sure something was snapping last year maybe we should move this bucket out of the way actually it's liv and hannah's last week <laughs> so they're leaving on thursday or friday i'm not sure and we might have a little bit of a gathering. So if anyone wants to send some supplies <laughs> off their wish list on Amazon, <laughs> the link's this. below the bit, the bit this video. So it turns out Massey Dave doesn't just do Massey's. He's done a uh, TW up. But he does do Massey's because there's a picture here somewhere. There it is. Massey and a TW. Don't forget, check him out on YouTube, Massey Dave. He's done loads of them up. Anyway, there's an article about him in Classic Tractor. You still doing your wish list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a slight issue with the PTO off the flare mower, not wanting to come out. So we took it off, ratchet strap it to there. We get the mini Merlo now, put it on that end with another strap, pull it apart, give it all a good clean, take the guard off, sort it all out, and put it back on the front flail ready to go uh, the plow is just getting a little bit of a welding job done on it and uh, that's going to go out as well messing with the fuel lines on that he thinks he's found a pipe with a split in it dave's chipping i'm just going to shove this branch just to him actually um, and then i'm off to set live up with the flail and we're going to try the plow as well so that's working all right they've been tidying up this morning when it's raining see if we can get that seven eight into the workshop so we can have a look at that check it's the head gasket before we start taking it apart not the uh, water pump or something daft just trying to set it up now get the mold board shiny as you can see they were all rusty we'll be doing it again a bit closer to the heads There's a little bit of a wet patch. And it's slipping. No. Through the wet patch now. Just ease it up a little bit. We've done one pass and that thing snapped as we've turned over at the end. But I remember last time I was using it, I welded it and there was no gas in the welder. And it sheared off, so I think the last bit of the field did one way. I knew it'd be weak anyway. It's obviously it is. Rob thought he'd welded it afterwards, but he obviously haven't because it's just gone. So he's oh, that's just a partial set flying on. So Rob's gonna um oh, sorry, Rob has gone back to weld it and then we'll put it back on and then try again. Oh, big hair there. Blend it in. Blending them up for now.
hard job. That's welded up now, let's see how long it lasts. I can see us having to get a new one of them, to be honest. We'll try again now. And we're off again. A little bit of wheel slip. turning over great at one end of the field but not the other anyway that's been damaged so we don't know whether we've adjusted the settings somehow so i'm gonna try turning that slightly see what that does turn it in it? took these valves out the changeover ram and that one's damaged i don't know whether that's the problem so we're going to move them from one side to the other see if the fault changes give us an indication whether it is that It's not doing a bad job now when the wheel doesn't get stuck, but it won't turn over on this far end. We took them valves apart, swapped them over and the fault never moved, so it mustn't be that. It's something to do with the changeover valve. It's a bit annoying really, because I could do it going doing something else, not flicking it over with the pallet forks at either end. Well, the speedo doesn't work on this, but... Still going a little bit deep there, a bit of clay coming up again actually. Yeah. Again to stop and I'll adjust it. out so it pushes the wheel down which lifts the plough up a bit higher so that doesn't go in as deep and pull clay up you see see the orange just spin this up another turn and then once we've got it right do a turn and a half actually we'll, we'll lock it off with the lock nuts right So that's helping the plough turn over. Anyway, that thing's cracked again. So we're going to make a new one now. Just reclaiming a bit of this field along the hedgerow here. And then in a couple of days, we'll be allowed to cut the hedge because obviously the birds will finish nesting on the 31st. They all know when to fly the nest. So I'm just going along this edge here. Back to the yard, Liv's gonna do the time lapse on the way back. Probably all you can see was dirty windscreen, but that was a quick 10 seconds back from the field. Things that we were trying to use to fix that with are too long. Need like a little short stabiliser. Oh, as you can see, the workshop is starting to get a bit tidier. But we thought we could have used one of these. 
to make something, but they're a bit, they're all a bit too big. So we'll give it another weld up now and see what happens. We've just put that tractor in the shed and Anna's come apart the buggy in the shed, but right in the middle. <laughs> It's all right, go on. It's very conscious of doorways now, Liv. There's a story behind that. I'll do. Right, I'm just writing the birthdays on. I'm not starting yet. <laughs> right, go on. Hi everyone, birthday bumper time. We've only got three on today and one of them is an anonymous, so happy birthday, anonymous. Um, Vince Pinhorn is 54 and Abby Shearing is 11, so happy birthday to those three. The totals are £44,582, so thank you for donating and happy birthday. Don't forget our Harvest Leaving Party wish list <laughs> is at the link below the video, so if you would like to purchase any of those gifts for us for our leaving party, we would be most grateful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks in advance as well. That is so bizarre that there's been like loads and loads on the birthday bumper and then now suddenly there's like three or four a day for the last few days. Just shows you, doesn't it, that the, the birthdays like really do come in waves. Definitely need me haircutting. I better just say as well, um, get well soon, Andrew, because he, he's basically got COVID. So he didn't feel so good yesterday when he was messing with his car. I thought he was just tired because he's had a big busy weekend. But he did a COVID test when he got home and he's got COVID. So he's never had it before in the three or four years. So hope he gets better soon. Morgan spent three hours with that plough. Look, he's got a grey hair already. <laughs> 936 update. Rob has had all this in bits, clean various parts in case there was a valve sticking. We think it's been drawing air in here. So we're going to leave it till morning, see if it's acting up in the morning. He's had a rubber hose off as well somewhere that we thought was perished, but we might be one of these maybe. No, it wasn't. I don't know where it was, but it didn't look like it was sucking air in there either. So we'll see what happens in the morning. Someone did message me and said that they had a problem. And I'm sure they might have said it was the filter head, but I can't remember, but I can't find the message anymore. So if it was you that messaged me about the problem you had with a 900 series fed, uh, let me know in the comments, please. That drying floor is pretty much empty. This drying floor is pretty much empty. And then the second to last batch, I would say, is in the dryer now. Just sweep them up, put them in there. All the wheat then is dried and into the shed. Hopefully we'll finish that in the morning and then we're ready for cutting wheat if it stops raining. It obviously rained this morning. Anyway, video's probably got a bit too long today. So I'm going to end it now. Thanks for watching. If you made it from afar, click like. Um, there's a couple of quiz questions, but I forgot what they were. Oh yeah, that wheelie thing that Andrew was do was sitting on to do his car. That was 250 quid. Don't know why he did that, but anyway. Um, and then what was the one? That, there's another quiz question that I've not answered off here as well. The other day I did a quiz question, but I can't remember what it was. If you can remember and I've not sold you. Let me know as well in the comments that. Also as well, I had a meeting with YouTube this morning on Zoom and they said that I should have a membership for the channel. So I don't know if you've noticed now, but you can subscribe. You can also be a member as well. And then you can use different emojis to comment and stuff. And when we get a bit more time, I'm going to put some like member videos on there as well. So anyway, end of the video now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.